Hello everyone. In the previous video, I have demonstrated how to build a basic circuit for the PCB board in a KiCad software. Same way, uh, today in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to build a basic voltage regulator circuit using an IC7805 in a KiCad software. Hope you have seen, watched that video, previous video of the basic uh, building of a basic circuit and you have understood somewhat uh, you have got an idea that how to create a circuit in a KiCad software uh, so just now uh, now today I am demonstrating to build a voltage regulator circuit so the basic procedures to create a circuit are click file new project and then I have said you to create a folder in the local disk D that they have created it as demo and file name give it as voltage regulator voltage regulator and save it the folder is being created in D demo voltage regulator and voltage regulator dot pro is your circuit file which is saved as dot pro extension which is saved in as dot pro extension uh, your folder is ready now uh, why I have been set to create an in local disk D so that uh, when you need to find any of the when you need to find any of the circuit you need to find then directly you can go to uh, directly you can go to local disk D the folder which you have created and the uh, I have created it as demo that day so just I have clicked it as demo and the voltage regulator is being found here if you need any of the circuit which you have uh, designed uh, whenever you want to see or access that design you can directly come here and you will get the circuits with the listed names so that's the advantage of creating a folder and saving by the name of the experiment you have to save the folder in the main folder so that's the advantage so therefore I am insisting or suggesting you to create a folder of yourself and whenever you do the circuit or the experiment you must create a new folder with that experiment name in the main folder of yourself okay now the folder is been created now and for this uh, circuit to be drawn you need to click on schematic layout editor click on schematic layout editor and you will get a dotted board with a margin layout in this margin layout you need to create a circuit within the margin layout that is in this space in, in this margin space you need to fit a circuit within that margin space okay all of you have seen uh, I guess you have seen the <coughs> voltage regulator IC that is 7805 which is a three terminal device or you can see it here it is a three terminal device wherein the terminals this is the first terminal which is an input terminal and this is the third terminal which is an output terminal and this is a the middle one is a ground terminal which is both common to both input and the output circuit so uh, the three terminal device uh, you may see you have seen transistor also but in the transistor uh, the pin arrangement is like the base terminal is slightly backwards of the emitter and the collector terminal both the emitter and collector terminal are just uh, front and the base terminal is just back of these both terminals but in voltage regulator ICs the three terminals are in the same line or in the same path so this is the uh, diagram uh, or the image of uh, 7805 IC uh, which I have shown here so you need to create a circuit using this IC I, uh, I mean this IC means uh, you will not get this full IC in the uh, what uh, KiCad software but you will get a schematic of those ICs so now uh, I have said you to uh, uh, I have said before building a circuit you need to select the components so that the selection of components is uh, from this right side the third icon that is place symbol or the op amp symbol you will get here so select that and then click on If you click here, you will get. Uh, you should. Uh, you need to select the components. You need to select the components. That is first. I would select the IC seven eight zero five IC. For selection of seven eight zero five IC, you need to type as LM seven eight zero five. It's a voltage regulator IC. That is LM seven eight zero five. You need to type it like this itself. That's LM seven eight zero five. LM seven eight zero five. 
you will get here LM780.2020 positive 1 ampere 35 volt linear regulator that speaks the output is 5 volt you uh, you can give up to 35 volt it's the meaning of that and the, you'll get output as 5 volt you need to click on this and then click OK so that the IC will be freely moving you need to click the left click on the dotted board to fix the IC ok then next for the input side for the input side you need to give a DC voltage DC voltage that's of for nearly 8 volts or 10 volts or 15 volts minimum is uh, 7 to 8 volts minimum you should give that much voltage to get an output voltage of 5 volt so uh, you can you think of the battery which you will give off which will give to the input side here if I place a battery then I cannot change it as uh, from the uh, from the signal generator also we can give 5 volt or the from uh, this VRPS also we can give the varying voltage so if I place a battery here in this input side if I place a battery uh, whenever I want to connect a VRPS then I cannot connect it in the PCB board therefore I am using a simple connector wherein whenever I want to use a battery I will connect it to the connector whenever I want to use a VRPS then also I will connect it to the connector for uh, it comes for more than one purpose if I place a connector so I am placing a connector here to place a connector click on this and type CONN you will get a connector list list of connectors you will get here but you, uh, but you do not need this much connectors you need a connector which is 01 into 02 male connector connector CONN underscore 01 into 02 underscore male connector which looks like this here you can see the image of that connector and then click OK you will get a connector then place it in the input side ok if you have placed it then you need to move it to the other side uh, for example uh, I have placed it here you need it here then what to do just take the mouse cursor on that device on that uh, component and just click M do not click the left click or the right mouse click you should not click the mouse just take the cursor on this and click M the component will be again moving and then where you need you can place it ok uh, for the PCB board uh, the PCB circuit should be very compact therefore I am placing it uh, nearby follow the same steps because the PCB board should be as much as compact as, uh, as much compact as possible uh, therefore place it nearby all the uh, components should be placed nearby uh, ok same way in the output side I have many options to place I can place either a voltmeter either a multimeter or either a LED or anything I can place now while building a circuit if I place an LED then I cannot place multimeter there over there uh, if I place a multimeter while drawing a schematic then I cannot place a LED to remove that uh, conflict or whatever that problem is so in the output side also I will place a connector this connector 01 into 02 same connector just click here and select uh, and type CONN you will get a recently used in recently used or you can select from here 1 into 01 into 02 male connector and press, press OK now you need to rotate this uh, connector means uh, the what the circle or the junction point is there that you should I mean this point this point you should get it towards the left hand side left side means uh, the third terminal should be connected to here therefore to rotate this component take the cursor here and just click R you will get a rotated uh, you should not click the mouse but you should just take the cursor for the rotation operation you should click the R and for the movement operation you should click the M so that the component will be moving while moving also you can rotate the component anyway uh, how uh, convenient which method is convenient you can follow that method nothing like that uh, first you should click the component and then move and then rotate or uh, first you should rotate and then move nothing like that you can however you can do it but uh, the circuit should be compact so uh, give the concentration to that uh, thing that's the circuit should be compact now placing is over I have made the input side I have made the output side and in the center it's an IC there now take the wires and uh, frame the circuit uh, as uh, sh previously shown in that video the wire selection is here the fourth 
fifth item that's place wire click on this and uh, you need wire between here to here therefore click on this terminal own just left click and then again left click on this and leave it uh, you should not uh, press the mouse button and uh, drag that wire just to click here and then wherever you want to end just click it here just clicking nothing else do not drag the mouse just click see the circuit is completed okay now this is the ground terminal so I need to place the ground over here so therefore I am going to select the fourth item that is place power port I am clicking here and I will type it as GND that's ground see here the first one is the GND ground capital GND you can uh, this is not case sensitive much case sensitive therefore you can uh, write in capital also small also it takes the input so GND power symbol creates a global label with name GND okay place it over here and connect it with the wire or uh, not much uh, you can place it over here also so that single junction will be shared with this input side this ground side this uh, output side also and this ground also so I have connected it here and you need to place a power flag over here so click on the same place power port you need to click uh, you need to place a power flag otherwise the error comes like uh, uh, the supply is not sufficient it's not uh, in some circuits it's very necessary that the power flag and the ground flag should be there here so while building a basic circuit itself uh, you go on practicing this power flag and the ground flag you need to place over here uh, then the circuit is completed the next step is after the circuit when it's completed I have said you to annotate the circuit annotating the circuit in the sense here you can see is J question mark U question mark and J question mark annotate is nothing but you can also give the name to this but annotate in the sense the system will or the software will directly give the name you need not again write the name if you if you want to write the name then just click this arrow and you click on right click on this question mark you'll get a edit reference then you can give the name as u1 and click ok see here this is the manual method which you can annotate the circuits or the system method is just click here annotate schematic symbols and then annotate annotation is complete here you can see now j1 j2 and u1 u1 as i have been i have been named it as u1 i have named it and this j1 and j2 is the system has named it next after the annotation uh, see after the annotation just click perform electrical rules check electrical rules check in the sense if any error is there then you can see it here here no errors zero errors but warnings is one you can neglect the warning but if the error comes then you should rectify that error and then move to the next thing if warning comes you can neglect it nothing issue in that if the warning comes if error has been arised or error has been found here or here then you should rectify that error and move to the next one for example I will remove this wire ok I will remove this wire and then annotate it and then I will give the ERC see here you will get many errors so you should make it the wire should be connected here if you do not connect the wire here uh, if you do not connect the wire here you can see here error is zero still error is zero but you have to connect it because whenever you are uh, in the CPVCB here when you go here run PCB new to layout printed circuit board when you go here you will not get a white line over here so you can connect the wires so that the circuit will be broken and the, with the output voltage will not will not be transferred to the output side so you should uh, connect the wire okay now the circuit is complete annotate the circuit and then run the ERC see a error is zero so no problem next assign PCB footprints to schematic symbols here the I have said in the previous video also this is the important or the this is the main concept uh, or the main uh, thing to build the circuit that's the main uh, major part this this uh, assign, assigning the footprints is a major part in building the PCB circuit uh, so therefore you should uh, 
just you should concentrate on this assigning footprints I have used the three components that is connector 1, connector 1 for the input side, connector 2 for the output side and the voltage regulator IC which takes the input voltage, regulates it to the 5 volt that is 7805 regulates it to the 5 volt and then uh, gives the output voltage as 5 volt. I have used the three components therefore you should uh, assign three components that is uh, connector 1, connector 2 and for the uh, what is that IC. Uh, for the three components you should assign the footprints. Now the footprints have been loaded here. For the J1 connector 01 into 02 male, always for 01 into 02 male, you should use the banana jack 2 pin connector itself. Do not use any other connectors. Use uh, for the easy purpose and the easy and uh, the circuit will be little uh, uh, means uh, like uh, you can nicely weave it or uh, uh, it's easy. The circuit becomes easy if you use banana jack 2 pin connector. I have said you here you should select as a connector when I click on left side in the footprint libraries you should click the connector and here you should go in the right side you see filtered footprints you should select it banana jack 2 pin double click on that and this will be selected here for the second also you need to select banana jack 2 pin because it's also a connector and for the third one you should concentrate here if the transistors are there you should select the transistor like schematic now it's a straight line the three terminals are in the straight line therefore I am using uh, what is that uh, package in this package SIP will be there SIP in the sense single inline package package SIP you should select package SIP in package SIP you need to select here just see the schematic here or the 3D view you will get to know See this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't want this one. I need only 3 terminals. So go on searching for that uh, uh, IC uh, alignment of the pins. Here I can get a 3 uh, in the straight line. But 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I, do not, I don't need this much pins. I need only 3 pins. Therefore I will go to the next one. This also has 9 pins. I do not require this. So here you can see that uh, SIP 3. Okay. I need this one because the first is the input terminal the first pin is the input terminal second is the ground terminal and third is the output terminal uh, this is uh, satisfying what I require this is the uh, this is the uh, this IC pin alignment is uh, what we require in this circuit therefore I am double clicking on it so that the package SIP3 has been selected now save the schematic go to file save schematic and then close this now this see uh, assigning the footprint is over after assigning the footprints click on generate netlist generate netlist do not change the name don't change na name just click save don't change anything the name you should not change also this uh, extension also you should not change just save it next generate bill of materials after after this netlist maybe this is not uh, there in that uh, version which are uh, which you are using in that lab this is not there after generating the netlist you should go to bill of materials generate it and then close it okay this is the this is over and the last step is this one run PCB new to layout printed circuit board click on this and you'll get a black screen here uh, over there and there is a margin also margin also so here you should select as back copper back copper and before I have said you to select the line size or the track size so you should come here net classes track width here track width should be 1 mm and do not don't change anything else track width only have to change is uh, 1 click ok and now load netlist here you can see as load netlist or uh, read netlist in some softwares it will be as read netlist here it is as load netlist I'll click on that just update PCB here you should select a netlist file uh, if you want to say uh, in some softwares directly if you give read netlist the net uh, what the circuit you have drawn there will appear here in some softwares in some versions you have to select the netlist file I'll click here this voltage regulator.net open 
next close okay this update pcb and then close this circuit is been now freely moving left click here and then it will be placed on this black screen then after placing here you need to segregate the components this is the first j1 j1 in the sense i have uh, uh, this is the j1 see here j1 is the input side j1 is the input side therefore i am moving it towards the input side and i will be rotating so that the ground will be below and the connection input connection will be in the upper side and the ground connection will be in the lower side next i will be moving this component uh, i will be placing the components as per this circuit itself as per this circuit you need to place the components i'll click m and i will make here i will make the circuit as much as compact as possible so that the pcb will be uh, pcb size will be reduced uh, the main advantage of uh, pcb board is that only uh, size should be reduced and it should be compact as much as possible now i'll be moving this also make sure that ground terminal is always below and the uh, terminal which you are taking the giving the input or taking the output should be at the upper side okay now i'll be selecting here back copper and i will be uh, clicking this item that is root tracks and i will be drawing the tracks here left click on this terminal and here you uh, left click and you do not drag the wire just click and then go uh, go to the destination terminal and then click left click that's it here also here also same thing the ground terminal of this ic is both common to input and output therefore i am placing it here itself you can place it here also but for the easy and the convenient side i am placing it here okay then now circuit is ready i have said you after the circuit is ready you need to click this one show pads in outline mode now the pads have been appeared here you need to edit the pads that is the drill size must be one you should make it as 1 mm because the drill bit available in the lab is 1 mm so click this arrow mark and then click here and this you should select the pad one on j, of j1 on all copper layers you need to select this now the color of this yellow becomes just light color then you need to right click on this then properties and this hole should be circular only but make it as 1 mm make it as 1 mm and size of the uh, circle will be little small i would make it little small okay this has been now adjusted now left click on this and select pad 2 now the color has been just dim then click right click right click on that pad properties here also you should make it as 1 mm and the position uh, size of this uh, same size i will make it as same size here also 6 here 6 here 6 and here also 6 uh, so that it will look nice then i'll click on this pad left click pad 2 now right click on this properties and then here also i'll make it as 1 mm and size will be 6 mm okay then here also same thing left click select the pad right click properties drill size must may will be 1 mm and size of the circle will be 6 okay okay now all the four outside pads are done now this ic pads you must take care it should not be shorted to each other if you short this the uh, terminals are shorted means then uh, simply the circuit will be wasted that's it nothing else pad 2 properties here you need to make it as one here i will select as rectangular you need to just see the size and then select it it's just like trial and error method this becomes very much big therefore i will make it a small little small and make it a square okay this one also will be big therefore i will make it as again 2 no this one i will keep it as 3 and this will be 2 so this one is okay the same size will be i'll keep it here also this will be 1 mm throughout the experiments just here you need to make as Uh, arrangements you need to make the arrangements here itself this will be 1 mm throughout the experiments okay 
next select this pad and edit this pad also make here one millimeter okay now all the pads are done circuit is done uh, to make the margin here <coughs> to create a margin you should click F mask that is front mask and click this wire and draw the outline do not drag the wire just left click leave left click leave that's it okay margin is done then save the circuit save the circuit click this arrow mark save the circuit and then print here you will give print preview you should select front back copper here uh, you just see you should select back copper b silk f mask and b mask you should select this much itself if you select all the things then all the what this uh, letters what you have written here connector one this all will be appear and then circuit will be shorted to one another uh, one terminal will be shorted to other so you should select only this much here back copper b silk f mask and b mask and then you should see you can see the preview here select this front copper also this front copper also you should select and then see print preview you will get a circuit like this this is the final circuit which you need to print on the PCB board.